Are you kidding me again? Who is like, this game's trouble. No! Yo, what's good? You already know I'm Ken Wall, and I gotta talk about Wonder Woman, which is in trouble. Allegedly. After the $200 million loss Warner Brothers suffered from Suicide Squad, this is gonna put the spotlight on WB Games. Mistakes like this can't happen. And this game already being in trouble makes me worried this is about to be another Wonder Woman 1984. Well, shit, Diana. Nah, it won't be that bad. Actually, from the leak, it sounds pretty dope. It kind of sounds like God of War. So let's get into it. Before we begin, allow me to give you a friendly reminder to like this video. And if you end up enjoying it here at my channel, know that I keep you up to date with the latest open world games, superhero games, video essays, where I go deeper into other gaming topics, other links in the description box below, Thanks, crew. So about a month ago, Kind of Funny Games put out their predictions for Summer Games Fest. One of them brought up Wonder Woman, to which Greg Miller then said he spoke to someone in the past year and said the game was in trouble. In the past year, because <laughs> I'll leave it ambiguous, I have talked to an insider who was like, this game's trouble. Wonder Woman was revealed two and a half years ago at the Game Awards. The biggest surprise was that the game was being developed by monolith productions it has been a long time since we've seen y'all this is the studio that made shadow of mortal in case you didn't hear me i'll say it again it's been two and a half years so i think we can all agree wh where are you at what's what's going on with this game all we know is that this game takes place in themisera and it will include the nemesis system but what have you done for me lately what is going on with wb letting these top-notch studios go dormant, go silent for so damn long. You're not Rockstar. What's going on? Why do you have Rockstar type of pipelines? This is ridiculous. No studio in the world should operate like Rockstar first and foremost, but to have two, nah, it's a crime. It can't, it can't happen. At least the studio isn't abandoning the style of games that they make. Evidence of this comes from a leaked marketing survey that showed off art and revealed some gameplay details. Shout out to Alex Ko, who works at MP First. The survey reads, get ready, this is a little bit of a long one. You are Wonder Woman in the single player action adventure game developed by Monolith Productions. The powerful sorceress Cersei has invaded your island homeland of Themyscira, leading an army of Cyclops, Gorgons, and other monsters. Use your godlike strength to deal shattering blows and tear through enemies in an epic battle to protect your birthplace from the invaders. Engage in fast-paced free flow combat with devastating combos and wield powerful weapons gifted by the gods, including the iconic Lasso of Truth. As this original Wonder Woman story unfolds, you must also repair your relationship with your mother, Queen Hippolyta, and your fellow Amazons who feel betrayed by your decision to leave Themyscira many years ago. Over the course of the game, you will encounter iconic DC characters as well as a unique cast of procedurally generated allies and enemies. Through the power of the nemesis system, they will remember your choices and actions and react according to their own beliefs. Fly across the open world of Themyscira as you explore the home of the Amazons and discover mystical inhabitants from Greek mythology. Fight back against the invaders and complete your quest to stop Circe from destroying your home and acquiring untold power. In addition, the survey mentions the game will feature mostly female villains like Medusa and Cheetah. Hey, hold, hold up. Why did y'all feel like y'all had to mention that? Most of Wonder Woman's villains are girls. That should go without being said. I think most people know that. I, I don't know. This seems like WB trying to spark another outrage like what they did with Hogwarts Legacy. But anyways, in addition, the game is set to have multiple weapons. Of course, you got the Lasso of Truth, but then you can wield swords, shield, and the shield. I like this. Actually, I like this a lot. It sounds like she's gonna be a beast. It, and since she's gonna be fighting demons and shit, you know the takedowns are about to be brutal. By the way, this is just a leak, so technically this is not official, but why would they fake a server? Now, to go back to the state of the game, do I believe Greg Miller? Well, my man's got the biggest video game podcast, so I don't think he could just say anything like that willy-nilly there would be consequences so i do believe greg miller we haven't seen or heard anything about this game and it's been two and a half years and yes i know this could have been oh one of them let's 
announce the game, but let's sneak in that we're actually hiring and trying to get talent to finish this game. Yes, I know the game that's being played, but that doesn't help me from my perspective. I'm a consumer. What the hell does that do for me? Shadow of War came out in 2017. What happened? Because now all I see at your studio is a bunch of imitators. Nah, 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 nah. That's kind of harsh. Let me chill. Let me chill. But seriously, most of the team is now gone. They're actually working on Black Panther. All that information, all that experience is not with the current day monolith production. Some of it is, don't get me wrong, some, but a lot of it is now gone. And when you combine a new team with game development being hard, this makes me worried about Wonder Woman. I'm not saying the game is going to fail because the leaked survey makes the game sound great. I can't wait to be killing demons as Wonder Woman, but we don't know. Their last two games, at least from WB Games, the publisher, had just not been it. Gotham Knights, I didn't really care about. Suicide Squad, oh, don't even get me started on that. And now when we hear stuff like this, I, I don't know. I'm hoping for the best. Hopefully we get some news soon. I'm not saying WB Games and their studios got to put up the same numbers as the Marvel games, but... Can we get consistency? Damn. Like, that's all I want because I think, in my opinion, the DC superheroes, I think they blend a little bit better with video games because the Marvel games, some of the Marvel heroes, they just become brawlers. You get me? But that's all I'm saying. Can we get some consistency, please? I hope we get some news about this game soon. Until then, you guys can always count on me for wonder woman so definitely subscribe and like the video if you haven't already thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys soon